face. It's your girl Joy. You know I'm back. It's not. I don't have the best angle right here. I'm on my way to work. I'm probably gonna be about five, ten minutes late today. Put me on the list. <laughs> Just add me to the list. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Today is Friday, and as I always say, I don't know when I'm gonna get this up. So I was talking to my friend on the way to work. sheltered life and I think because that's the way I grew up I didn't know any different you know what I'm saying so like travel has never been a passion because I never really traveled so I'm cool just staying in one spot it doesn't really bother me can't miss what you never had that type of thing 
but I'm hoping to encourage my children to plan a vacation every year, to travel every year. And I think that's why um, RV living um, interests me. So I just want to be free. I don't want to be. I don't want to be weighed down by things. I just want to be free. I've just been through so much. I'm just tired at this point. So let me know if I'm crazy. I think in life sometimes we always have regrets and wish we can do things differently. Sometimes I wish I could have been a better parent. I don't, I don't know. I'm an easygoing parent. I'm kind of an easygoing teacher. <laughs> they were like, oh, you need to mark the kids late. You need to hop. like, go oh, sit down. <laughs> sit down. I ain't even take attendance yet. Sit down. <laughs> they were like, Miss Basil, you're just the coolest teacher ever. I'm like, just do your, your little assignments and be respectful. We'll all get along. Period. <laughs> you know, some for me, for other people, some things just aren't that serious. Like, you know, I do complain about the dishes, but so sometimes I feel like, is it really worth the headache of yelling and screaming all the time? No, I've had my moments, but I'm like, it's not that serious. Shoes in the middle of the floor. Okay, the shoes are there. And so, it, life still goes on. So, there's a piece of paper. Okay, and so... You know, so little things to me, I don't make a big deal out of it because, baby, when you're trying to figure out how to rob Peter to pay Paul and how I'm going to put food in the fridge, is that really what I want to fuss about? You know? Nope. No, I got I got bigger fish to fry. I'm not going to be sweating that. You know, or where my kids are and, you know, they're about to get kicked out of school or they had this fight. It's not, it's not that serious to me. Some people are really strict and they, they're on it. Me, I'm just like, don't worry. Be happy now. Don't worry now. So I got my little, my two little pom-poms today. This is how I was feeling. I wanted to put on a cute little dress. But my foot is still jacked up. This is really bothering me. All right, I'm getting off topic now. I'm getting off topic. How long have I been on here? I do want to do something with the girls before Bobby leaves. You know, that last parting. And I'm hoping that maybe by next year, um, I'll have the RV so I can travel to Arkansas and attend games. I don't have to worry about hotel, blah, blah, blah. So I want to explore Arkansas too. I mean, that's if she wants me there. You know, and I don't know what y'all would want them mom or, or you know their family supporting them I hope and then Sydney said she was interested in exploring the schools in Arkansas so she wants to go to Arkansas State so we'll see and I was like you don't want to go to school with Bobby she was like no she wants that big college experience and you know where it's big and blah 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 she wants that and I've been trying to see if she wanted to go to a Christian college um but I'm not sure what she wants to do now I'm not sure if ministry is what she wants she's still young she has time to decide so at this point now the girls you know at an age I just listen and I interject how I feel about certain things but at this point it's it's their decisions and hopefully they still appreciate the little bit of guidance from mom We'll see, but I do wish there was so much more I could have done with the kids and for them. It just seems like life has just been one big struggle, like forever. But I did the best I could with what I knew, y'all. I'm like, even if there is a verbally abusive parent, then you have to stop and think, why are they like that? you know what has caused them to be that way their parents were probably that way and that's all they knew so sometimes you have to look at um you have to look at different situations with a different lens i don't care what anyone says our experiences make us who we are but sometimes when you're in the heat of passion and the throes of life sometimes we don't stop and you know analyze all those things and be able to pull back those layers of how we 
have come to be who we are. So, you know, sometimes you got to stop and think, okay, this person is abusive. Why is he abusive? There's, a, there's another story there. There's always another story. There's always another layer. But for me, as I get older, more mature, and still trying to look young, <laughs> oh, well, who going to check me, boo? That's my business. Period. Who going to check? Nobody. If I don't feel like looking like Granny Mae, that's not what I'm going to do until I'm ready. Okay? I'm not there yet. So if I still want to try to look young, that's what I'm going to do. Period. I'll be coloring his hair this weekend, too. So anyway, we're not talking about that. I forgot what I was going to say. I sure did. That's what I be doing to myself. I be all over the place, y'all. I have not been taking my medicine. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, I've been diagnosed with ADHD. So I went, oh, God, I need gas. I went through a full-blown um, evaluation. But the insurance doesn't want to pay for the medicine because um, I'm over 18. I was like, so that means all your symptoms just go away when you turn 18? Just so stupid. Now the doctor wants to see me get it. Check my vitals again. I was like, I haven't even, I took that medicine for one month. And I didn't take it on weekends. I don't even think it made a difference anyway. So, I'm over it. It's, it's just, it, I feel as though they make it too much of a big deal. But when I spent that 300 no, I think it was almost $400 for that evaluation. Because it's something, like you know something is not normal. And you, I just wanted to know. I was like, because at my age, most people slowing down. I feel like I'm speeding up, honey. <laughs> I do. But I will say, I do have a lot of energy during the day. But baby, when I get home, I do crash. And at school. And, and, and I just give 110% when I'm at school. So... Whether I'm tired or not, I'm still going to give my all to my students because it's not fair to them. I don't like when people just bring their, their, their I won't say it's negativity, but as a teacher, you you always have to be on. And so I just like this, the profession that I chose, I'm ready to be on. That doesn't mean I'm not going to complain about some things, but, I, but I'm always going to give my love, my energy um, to my students and I don't care what anyone says. It's not always about the lesson. It's about those connections that you make with it, with the students. So I just, I just love them to pieces. So I'm almost at work, but that was on my heart. Sometimes I vlog when things are on my heart. And I was like, sometimes I'm like, I don't got nothing to talk about. I don't got nothing to talk about. Okay. So if you have ideas and things that you want me to talk about, things that you want me to do, sis, let me know. And you know, I've been doing this YouTube thing for three years now. Sometimes I wish I was a little further in it, but sometimes, you know, you have your highs and lows and you're just like, oh, forget it. <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> so... We'll see, but I, I do love and appreciate all you guys. Trust me, baby, you guys have been like my therapist for the past several years. And somebody listened to me ramble and run my mouth, y'all, because I know I've been talking for a while. Y'all know I got that talking problem. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> but it is Friday. I do have some goals that I would like to accomplish, like finish painting, since nobody could do it for me. I don't even want to get started on that because I can only control my feelings or what I do. I can't control what other people will do. So that's why sometimes I just don't, I don't ask for people to do stuff for me. I just, just like, whatever, I'll just do it myself. Really with the kids, I just like, I'll just do it myself. <sighs> so this weekend, what will we doing? Preparing lessons. I do want to go to Ikea. So I do have the piano in my room. I think I want to get rid of the piano. I'm like, I look at it. I want to do lessons. But I'm just like, I really need a little desk over there. Because sometimes I work from the bed. And sometimes that gets uncomfortable. So I may stroll up to Ikea. And find a little desk I could put over it. Right in front of the window. I think I want to change my curtains too. To something bright and happy. Title. Those are um, blackout curtains, y'all. Those are blackout joints. And I think my necklace is too tight. I was throwing on whatever this morning. I got ready in 20 minutes. So I got five minutes to get to work. Um, yeah, y'all. 
can you believe Bobby's, you know, they asked her, she has an option to speak at graduation because she's an honor student. And um, so she has to submit her speech. And, you know, it may be chosen, it may not, but she was like, I don't have time to write a speech. It's her decision, but you know, as a mom, and I told Bobby, I said, Bobby, this is a once in a lifetime thing. You may look back on this when you're older and wish you had done that speech. How many people are asked or have the invite or the possibility to speak at a graduation? How many? So I'm gonna try one more time and then like she likes to say, I know she's playing, but I know there's a little um, seriousness in it. She likes to say, but I'm grown. Okay, go ahead and be grown. Go ahead and be grown. So it's her decision. She's 18. Just like with the dress. That's okay. I got that, honey. I, whatever. It'll be my graduation too. Whatever. And um, so she's 18. So I'll try one more time, y'all. I mean, then as a parent, as a parent, how you see your child just blossom, you're like, yes, that's my daughter up there, you know, giving a speech. Who wouldn't be proud, so proud just to see that? I would have been proud. Oh, I feel like I'm getting emotional. Oh, excuse me? <laughs> no, 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 no. But what parent wouldn't be proud to see their kid even just attend graduation? You know, I'm thinking about Clinton again. So I'm really, really excited about this one because I didn't have the opportunity to see Clinton. I'm gonna cleanse my son. All right, y'all. I'm almost at school. I thought I was gonna be about 10 minutes late. Now these cars move on, honey. Come on, move on. I may be able to get out of the car like at 8.03, period. Oh, why is she walking in the street? Oh, she walking to her job, okay? See, that's what I'm talking about. She's gonna get to her job regardless oh she got a mcdonald's um uniform on you go sis i ain't mad at you get your coin honey get your job get your life i like that she walking and I, that's odd here because in texas most people drive and in the area where i live or where i work there's no bus system there's no public bus system so you gotta drive go ahead sis i ain't mad at you she probably lives in the, around in the neighborhood you know the battery in her car probably dies something done happened I gotta find a little cash car for Bobby. This is make my nerves bad. Do y'all know I don't like shopping? I don't like shopping at all. And this is my, cause I've had so many lemons in my life and I refuse to take on an additional bill. I already have to pay for her insurance for the car. It's too much. You think they, 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 they graduate from high school, you free. They <laughs> give us free. Mm -mm. I still got to take care of her for the next four years because being a basketball player, they don't want the kids um, working. And honestly, I, I would prefer for her to focus on school. That's what I really prefer. I want her to really focus on school and, you know training and i don't want her to have that worry so i will with that said i'm grown it is what it is i do have an announcement i'll let you oh come on close your door sis <laughs> close your door sis so i could pull up in here i made it y'all 759 759 so i made it to school all right y'all okay girl take your time not too much time I made it. It's gonna be a good day. I'm claiming it. I am claiming it in the name of Jesus. It is 7:59. I need to be walking in the building at eight. In the name of Jesus, I'm claiming that it's gonna be a great day. The kids, I'm gonna love one of the kids. I'm gonna love each and every one of them and encourage the ones that I can encourage and grow the ones that I can grow. It's just gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a great day for you because I said it is. Say it's gonna be a great day and don't let anybody rob you of your joy, your peace, your spirit. It is whatever day it is, claim that it's gonna be a great day because I'm owning it, honey. I do have about 16 of these in my bag. <laughs> this is an energy drink. It's supposed to be um, like a healthier energy drink. So 
Connie Chow used to buy cases of this for me. So whenever a uh, Bay Daddy comes to town, um, I get a, a little case of these. <laughs> and so they'll last me for a little while. But today I brought two because I don't have any cream up for my coffee. And that's just what it is. All right. All right, y'all. Bye, y'all.